What's the next step? It's time to cut a hole in the ceiling. Let's do that right now. Okay, so um, just came out of the uh, attic, uh, looking over here to see, and what we found was that we're not going to be able to uh, put this, uh, run this vent on the, uh, from what I'm saying, the south side of that rafter. I'm going to have to. <laughs> okay, it was a little dusty up there, but uh, here's here's the mark. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so I did figure out how to get this to uh, do the 45 degree angle and then I got the other one to do the 45 degree angle, but I still have a problem. Here is, uh, here is the edge, right there, and the mark is there, which means the 2x4 still goes into here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. I think what I'll have to do is put an extension out like between there and there a real short maybe like a, I guess it would be about a uh, five or six inch extension and push it out as I said there are going to be a couple of more things here I'm going to add a grill to the top of this so nothing can climb down inside here can't keep cockroaches out but uh, usually cockroaches I don't know how they get in the house next step is cut the hole okay before we embark on this cutting expedition, so we're going to put a hole in the ceiling, which is, you know, okay, you're putting a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> it's scary. The one thing, a couple of things you're going to need before you embark on that, and of course, you're going to need to make sure that um, we can finish the job. We're going to use the metallic tape, and that metallic tape will uh, basically hold hold these pieces together. Keep this from turning, or just go wrap it around this, 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 and of course keep that from coming out, and uh, everything else is going to be. So I'm going to have another piece that's going to go on the end of this, and as I recall, about a five inch piece there. All of that's going to get wrapped in metal tape. Okay, so you need the metal tape. The next thing you're going to need is something, you're going to make a hole right and this one's going to be seven inches so I want something here's a little paper plate in case I don't finish the job today I want to cover that hole so here's a little paper plate and what I'm going to do if I have to I will stick that paper plate in the hole up top side like that and before I put it up there I'll put a little piece of this tape about you know this long and if I need about this long and if I need to uh, put some extra tape on there, something to keep this down, because if you have to leave that hole open for any amount of time, more than a few hours, uh, and you're not around to keep an eye, you could have anything crawl down there, because you know there are rats, mice, all kinds of stuff. No matter how well you seal up your, your attic. Uh, another thing you're gonna need is good scissors for cutting that. Uh, you'll need some spackling paste for sealing up around where the pipe's going to go through the ceiling because you're not going to use this metal life tape up against the, uh, the ceiling. Now, um, most wallboard guys are pretty quick. They'll just go. They want to make a cut there, just mark it off first, and then and then they'll take the tip of it. They'll take the tip of the tool and they'll start winging it back and forth. And that actually cut a hole right through it. And that'll be their starting cutting hole. Well, I, I was just going to drill a hole, but if I can see, this is how most uh, particle board guys, or not particle board, uh, wall board guys do it. They'll just. Now, I, I think I'm, I'm either running into wood here, which is entirely possible. Hope that I'm not I'm cut into a board because if there's a board there, this whole project is going to get trashed. And I'm wondering if that's no, 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 so this is a really thick. All right, so this is a special wallboard cutting saw, 
and uh, before I go too much further, I want to make um, I want to make a trace around where I'm going to go. I'm going to make a small hole first, something I can stick my hand up, and that it's not too hard to replace it if I have to replace it. If this doesn't work out for me, I'm going to save this piece and I'll plaster it back into place. I'm not going to say I can show you how to do this, but... I don't consider myself that good at it. So. Okay, I was trying to do this job with a step ladder, and uh, I wasn't able to get the reach on it. So I've gone outside and I've got my, uh, gotten my uh, fiberglass. Uh, I guess it's a five footer, four footer. Might be a four footer. It's a five, four foot ladder. Now I uh, made the hole up here, and there was a cable uh, when we saw earlier. Uh, up there, but I can easily if I put the side of the thing right here I can easily push that cable right out of the way and Then I'm reaching around to make sure this is only a handhold. That's why I made this a handhold I'm reaching around to make sure there's nothing in the way of uh, This thing when I go through but it looks like I've got a little piece of wood right there and if I look straight up if I go straight up about five inches there's a two by four in the way so what that says is that I can go up about two inches which is not a problem I go up maybe two inches above the ceiling and then top off the, uh, the vent so this was basically a, a handhold a, a way for me to reach up and I didn't want to make it bigger because I'm going to make the other one a lot bigger um, so that it will accommodate this this guy right over here um, the hand hole was so that I can get up and I don't want to even make the big hole because if I have to put this back it's going to be a lot easier to put this back than it would be to put a really big one back. Let's uh, work on the next step, cutting the big hole. Alright, well it took a few tries. Um, I, I had to made the original hole, it just wasn't big enough to take it and then of course this thing, I did that, this thing wouldn't fit between there and there to fight with that. The uh, next step is going to be to uh, get these guys lined up. Thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for an organized listing of my YouTube videos, go to my website www.wheremyplacebos.com and click on videos. Have a great day.